Hi everyone, I'm Diddy's. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about killer bunnies from the medieval era. This video comes with a slight content warning for gore, so just be aware of that. So I saw this meme this morning which inspired me to make this video. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. Although I know rabbits can be pretty ferocious, um, I had a rabbit called Lucy not too long ago who was a little demon. Lucy actually became shorthand for Lucifer. <laughs> Those of us who were traumatised by Watership Down as children know that rabbits can be violent, for sure. But I think we can all agree that the general consensus is that they're pretty cute, timid, non-violent creatures. So let's just take a quick look at Google Images. I think the most important thing here is that a lot of these images seem to have been drawn in the margins of the books in which they appear. And a lot of these images are very, very similar, which does make you think. Let me try to give you a brief history lesson. Rabbits were deliberately introduced into Britain in the 13th century, or by, by the 13th century, and um, according to some people, they were established in the wild at this time. Although there was something called a forest law, which would have made it almost impossible for peasants to farm them and eat them. However, they were still a relatively common meal for nobles and other wealthy folk. Apparently it wasn't until the 18th century that rabbits were uh, more of a, like a, a common food for your everyday man. Peasants didn't actually eat a lot of meat, which may or may not surprise you. They might keep a pig or two, but they would rarely kill it. Um, and if they did keep chickens, they would use them for the eggs, like to, to kill your chicken if it was um, a hen, obviously, would be like a, a huge stupid thing to do. So chicken was a dish that was really only seen on the tables of um, more. Why am I talking about chickens? Let's go back to what we were talking about. The real question is, were vicious lagomorphs a daily concern for people in medieval times on top of, you know, plague, famine, malnutrition, um, having to grind your own bread? Actually, no. So the reason that rabbits are portrayed like this in medieval texts is that people knew it was funny. Marginalia, which is the word for these kinds of little doodles, or they're also known as drolleries, may have been put in text to be entertaining. There were also a lot of people um, fighting or riding giant snails. There's also something called a, um, a, a butt tuber, which crops up a lot, but um, moving on. The world upside down was a common theme in medieval culture, and role reversal has remained a comedy staple for centuries. Like um, the rabbit Bugs Bunny constantly outsmarting Alma Fudd, who's meant to be the hunter, you know, it's like a, a change of um, expectations, or tr it, like a, a trope reversal. In this picture, you can see the rabbit is riding off as if it was on a hunt. It's got a falcon on its glove. Except the falcon is a snail, and the horse is a hunting hound. Hilarious. Another layer to it is that um, in this time, rabbits were a symbol of cowardice and weakness. So to have a person losing a fight to one in, um, in one of these images would mean that they're like, you know, like, a, a loser, basically. The word stick hair was also um, a word that was prevalent at this time, meaning coward, basically. And a lot of these images have rabbits attacking humans with sticks or, you know, impaling them on sticks, beating them with sticks. A lot of people say that the reason you find so many strange pictures in the margins of medieval manuscripts is because the, the people creating these texts um, would have been, you know, bored basically. They had to copy them by hand and they weren't normally writing it themselves, they were just copying it, you know, from another text. And, and I think that's a, a fair... Um, I think that's a fair conclusion, because obviously the, the, the pictures don't really have anything to do with um, the text itself, which would generally have been religious most of the time. But I've also read a, another explanation on Reddit, please forgive me, which posited that in these manuscripts, that which was relegated to the edges were these things that strayed from the holy or normal. Like, um, 
Medieval maps with strange monsters in the borders. The further out you get from the centre, the weirder things become. I think that the theory here is that bizarre little drawings around the edges actually helped people concentrate on what was important about the text, supplementing the main text without truly undermining its authority. A safe practice of subversion. So to go back and actually answer the question from this video's title, why were medieval rabbits killing everyone? The answer is just that, subversion. It's the same reason that there's that scene in Monty Python's The Holy Grail, or um, things like Bonicula exist. I think there's also a movie called The Night of the Lepus from the 70s, and something called Beast a Day from 2014. So yeah, rabbits aren't generally bloodthirsty, vicious, murderous, violent. So artists throughout time have deliberately subverted that for comedic effect? Whether it's actually funny or not is open to interpretation, I guess. But I mean, just look at this face and tell me you're not laughing. I'm going to include a link to the Toast series on two medieval monks invent art in the comments. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with this video, but just like the images in margins back in the day, um, these pictures are meant to entertain. Thanks for watching everyone, um, I'll try to have a, another video up next Friday, but until then, um, you can always catch me over at twitch.tv forward slash hell of ditties, I'm live every Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. I don't usually talk about um, marginalia or drolleries over there, but I do have some amazing rabbit emojis. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.